So welcome to our yoga this morning. Find a chair. And again, we were just talking about there's a new moon um, tomorrow and there's also a solar eclipse. And so those bring lots of energy. And basically that energy is to, with a new moon, to, to get quiet, just like we don't see the moon, right? So just get quiet and, and contemplate and, you know, contemplate maybe things that you might want to begin eventually, you know, and then the solar eclipse, again, any eclipse brings in sort of e high energy can be negative energy. And so to be aware of that and meditate. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you can. Okay, so we're gonna begin with <clears throat> just moving and shaking. Uh, so it got very windy yesterday, if you were in Colorado. I can tell because my bamboo always falls down <laughs> when that happens. And so this is a time of year, you know, Mother Nature's shaking off all the stuff. It's that start, starting to die, leaves and, you know, flowers and all that. They're all going inside. So it's a good time to shake off our dead stuff and relax. All right, so we're gonna begin our breathing technique today of alternate nostril breathing. It just helps us to balance ourselves, get ourselves into balance and ground ourselves with all this change and wind. It's always nice to ground. <clears throat> Good. So palms up on your lap. With your left hand, we're gonna uh, um, bring your the pointer finger and thumb, just touching. And with the right hand, you're gonna bring your peace fingers between your eyebrows. And let's just bring those there and then just gently press in and then just make little the circles on that third eye. It's an area of intuition in our body. Yeah. And then reverse. Okay. <clears throat> and then just close your eyes. And have a nice tall spine. So lift the heart up slightly. Good. And we're going to take a breath in through both nostrils and breathe out both nostrils. And then gently touch the right side of your nose and breathe in through the left. Touch the left nostril and breathe out the right. All the way and breathe in through the right. And just touch the right nostril with your thumb and breathe out the left. And breathe in the left. And touch the left and breathe out the right. Just continue at your own pace, breathing out and in, back in through the right. And continue on, out and in the left. And notice the breath. Breathe as slow as you can. Relax the breath so the breath is nice and relaxed. We're just making this arch with our breath. Noticing if one side is a little bit more stuffed up than the other or a little bit more open than the other. Try to relax the right arm, even though that hand is up on your face. And bring a little smile to your face. Nice and easy. And you elongate each breath. Out in the in. Pausing at the bottom and the top just for a second. Noticing if the breath is starting to help open up. There was a side that was a little more stuffy, plugged. 
Notice you're getting tense. If there's any tension happening and see if you can relax. Gently on your exhale, rest. And then no hurry. Just the next time that you breathe out the left nostril. Go ahead and release your right hand onto your lap. Release the mudra on the left hand. And just sit here and notice the effects of the breath. Notice your natural breath. Notice if your nostrils feel evenly open. Notice if you feel more alert or more relaxed. And when you're feeling ready and complete now, you may just gently open your eyes. Yeah, such a nice breath to balance us. You watch nature and nature is always balancing itself, right? And we're part of this nature. And this breath, our breath helps us to get back into sync. We fall out of sync. Just do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. If you have a hard time falling asleep at night, before you go to bed, sit and do this alternate nostril breath it's for about 10 rounds and see if that is helpful for you. All right. All right. <clears throat> and again, we're going to shake. <clears throat> yeah. And shake the head. All right. And relax the body. All right. And we're going to begin now with just a little nice stretching for our upper body. So relax the right arm down alongside your body. I'm gonna turn the palm out. On an inhale breath, reach your arm out and up. Right arm. Good. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and over. Just, we're just warming up so you don't need to go far. Never need to go far. And then inhale, slowly come back up. And then turn the body to the right. As you exhale, slowly drop your right arm back and down. Very slow here. And then inhale, slowly bring the body forward as the arm floats up. And as you exhale, we're going to cross the arm on an angle, that right arm towards the left. That is the floor. And then inhale, slowly bring that right arm back up to straight above in line with your head. And exhale again, reach up and lean over and stretch tall. Yes, nice long right side. And then inhale, slowly come back up. And exhale, just release that arm down. So just nice and graceful here. Yeah. And wiggle out the shoulders. On an inhale breath, reach your arms forward and up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, relax. Slowly turn your body over to the right. Looking at your waist. Relax your arms down. Let them float and land wherever they land. Notice the tall spine. Keep a nice tall spine. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, turn and over the right shoulder. And breathe. Nice long deep breath. Really nice for the lungs, lung health. And as you exhale now, keep the body where it is. And slowly start to turn your head forward, just your head. And then slowly turn your head and look over your left shoulder. And stretch the neck. It should feel nice on your neck. Yeah. And on your next exhale breath, slowly turn your head back and look over the right shoulder one more time. And then 
And as you exhale, slowly turn your head forward now. And then slowly bring your body back forward. Good. And just do a little wiggle out. I'm going to go to the other side with that nice dance. So relax your left arm down. Turn your palm out. Good. And press down into your feet on an inhale breath. Reach your arm out and up. Good. Just where it lands. Good. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and lean over. Open up that lung from the left side now. And then inhale, slowly come back up. And as you exhale, turn your body to the left. Draw that left arm back and down. And on your next inhale breath, slowly bring the body forward as the arm comes up. And as you exhale, cross your left arm across your body and reach your fingers down towards the right floor. Stretch that shoulder. And then inhale, slowly bring the body back up. And exhale one more time. Let's lean back, drop your arm. And then inhale, slowly bring the body back up, back forward, arm up. And as you exhale, stretch up and lean over. Maybe a little bit further. Maybe not. Belly's tucking in. That protects the back. Good. And inhale, slowly come back up. And exhale, please let that arm just float down. Good. And roll out your shoulders. Good. Relax the arms down. Little twist on the other side. So inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Yeah, nice big stretch. And then as you exhale, relax and turn at your waist. Look over to the left. And relax the arms down. And good. Find your nice belly breath, big breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can turn and look over your left shoulder. Nice, big breaths, tall spine. And then on your next exhale breath, relax the body. And keep your body where it is and slowly turn your head and look over the right shoulder. A little counter stretch here for our neck. And breathe. And on your next exhale breath, turn your head and look over again, that left shoulder. Good. And as you exhale, relax, turn your head straight forward now and bring your body back forward. Good. And relax. Yeah, wiggle it out. Good. Nice tall spine. We're going to press into our feet and inhale, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Feel the spine get a nice stretch, a little opening in between all of those little vertebrae. And exhale, relax your shoulders down. And one more time, press into your feet. Lift your shoulders up. And exhale. All these are so good to open up that lung area, right? Keeping our lungs healthy. And exhale, relax. Good. Let's just do a few head rolls here. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, stretch the back of your neck. And then on an inhale breath, roll your head over to one side, maybe the right. And slowly bring it back and over to the other side and forward. Yeah, so when we move our neck like this, so just do a couple circles, opening up our sinuses, Stretching out that neck. And we mentioned meditation, especially for the solar eclipse tomorrow. Yeah. And before meditation, if you have just a second, just do this. Rotate your neck in you know, circles. Next time, pause when your head comes forward and reverse. <clears throat> so this just keeps the connection of the head body nice and open yeah it helps us to sink deeper when we do meditate good and just 
do one more circle here. Just enjoying the stretch. I like to always close my eyes when I do my circles. It just helps me to feel what's going on in my neck. Next time the head comes forward, pause. And just lift the head straight back up. Mm, nice. All right, shake it out, shake out the head. All right, we're gonna come into a little deeper forward fold here. Let's, let's go forward into our chair. Feet are planted onto the floor. Always finding that lifted heart, nice tall spine. We're gonna take a breath in, and as we exhale, hinge forward at your hips, and just drop your belly onto your thighs. Looking at the floor. Good. And then press into your hands, inhale, slowly come back up. And exhale, hinge forward. Good. And inhale, slowly come back up. Good. Take a nice breath in, and this time on an exhale breath, we're gonna come about halfway forward. You're gonna take your right arm and place it onto your thighs with your palm up, and relax your left arm, just let it hang down. Take your gaze down towards the floor. And we're gonna press into our right forearm as we lift the left arm out and up. And just come up as high as you can. And that left arm reaching out to the side and up. And exhale, flow that left arm back down. And good, looking at the floor. And then pressing into that right forearm and floating that left arm back up. And maybe you come up just a little bit higher. And exhale, opening up our lungs, that left lung. Good. And back down. And one more time. We're going to inhale, press into that right forearm. Reach that left arm up, maybe a little higher. Find your uh, range of motion here. And breathe. So we'll pause and we'll breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Try to relax in the pose. And exhale when you're ready. Float that left arm back down. Okay. Now bring your left palm onto your thigh and your right palm onto your right thigh. And press down into your palms and slowly bring your body back up. Good. And roll out the shoulders. Nice, relaxed arms, yeah. Notice if you build up any tension in any of the asanas, then just make sure that you shake off before you go to the next. Yeah, okay. and relax. All right, we're gonna just do that um, on the other side, that little twist. So take a breath in, have a nice tall spine. Exhale, lean forward. And this time we're gonna drape our left forearm onto our thighs, right above our knees and relax the right arm down. Okay. Then pressing into your feet on an inhale breath, reach that right arm out and up. And you can watch it with your head and you know, wherever it's comfortable. And then exhale, slowly float the right arm down. Okay. And then again, press into that left forearm, reach the right arm out and up, nice and graceful. All movements are graceful movements, nothing jerky. Yeah, and breathing through all of it and release it down. And then one more time, here we go, number three. And reach that arm up and maybe you go up a little bit higher and pause here now and breathe in to the right lung, right rib cage. Notice if you're uncomfortable, notice if you can't breathe, Kick back out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so take your breath. Nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, release that right arm down. Bring the right hand onto your thigh, the left hand onto your left thigh. And press down into your palms and slowly bring your body back up. Good. And again, roll out the shoulders. Yeah. One way and roll out the shoulders forward. Other way, good. And it might feel nice to just wiggle. Wiggle out your shoulders, shake out your hands, shake your head, good. And relax the body now. 
All right, so remaining in your chair if you'd like. Now we are gonna make our way up and just do a little moving up um, top behind our chair. Yes, and so as we stand, we're gonna, you know, today's about our uh, lungs and, and also just being graceful, right? And so as you stand, leaning forward and pressing your heart forward to just gain momentum to come to a nice graceful stand. Nice. Ah, here we are. All right. So you can slide the chair out um, from, or you can slide it forward. Yeah. And again, now that we're standing, we've been sitting for a little bit. So just pay attention to your body and see how it feels. Yeah. Good. And wiggle out any places that you might be holding tension. Just move however it feels organic to you. Good. And then let's come to mountain pose. So shoulders back, palms are forward, belly tucked slightly, kneecaps lifting. Feel the strength in your legs when you lift your kneecaps. Yeah, and looking straight forward with the chin slightly tucked back. And take a nice big breath in and let it go. And then another nice big breath in and breathe in a little more and a little more and let it go. Standing nice and tall, good, and relax. We're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider apart and soften our knees, good. And just moving again, inhaling to one side, exhaling to the other. Inhale, ah, yeah, just moving. Little twisting, always detoxifying. Huh. Now, as you go side to side, maybe you roll on to the opposite toe. Yeah, just lifting your heels. Yeah. Huh. Huh. And one more. Huh. And relax. Good. And bringing yourself back to hip distance apart. And now here it's a little bit of a balance. You may need either the side of, side of your chair here or the front of your chair. But we're just gonna come up onto our toes a little bit and rock onto our heels. And just forward and back, strengthening our feet, getting yourself a little bit of a balance. Practice here, yeah. Maybe each time you lift the toes a little bit more and heels just a little bit more. Try to feel all the, both sides of your feet, the inner side and the outer side of your feet, your heels, your toes, the whole ball of your foot. Yeah, good. And relax. Good. And shake it out. <clears throat> all right, we're going to come into a little warrior dance. Yes. Peaceful warriors. Strong, peaceful warriors that we that lead with our hearts. Right? That's the answer to this world and the destruction that happens sometimes. All right. So we're gonna start with fingers on our chair. So having your chair in front of you, you're gonna take your right foot and step it back. All right. So you have your chair here. I'm going to slide mine out so you can see a little bit better. So we're finding ourselves into our little warrior one. Good. So this left knee has a, is a little soft. You're holding on to your chair here. And check in with your back heel and make sure that the heel's not caving in, that it's straight back. Yeah. Good. So a little um, uh, lunge warrior. Yeah. And if that have being on the ball of your foot is not uh, comfortable for you, you can drop that heel behind you. And if you're feeling a little precarious, you can widen your stance too for your warrior. But just find a way to make yourself feel comfortable and grounded. As a matter of fact, let's all drop our heel. It'll be a little bit of a stretch on the back of our stance. So holding onto our chair here, good. And then taking your hands now, if you can, on your hips and squaring your hips. If they're sent over to the right a little bit, try to square them to the front of the room. Good. And then lift your heart. Get a nice tall spine. 
good. And then if you can, reach that right arm up towards the sky. And the chair is always there to hold on to. Yes. Or you can keep your hand on your waist. Or you can lift the left arm to meet the right. Yeah. And take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Relax your shoulders back and down. Good. Inhale, lift your heart. Even look up slightly. Exhale, relax. So feel that heart bleeding. Yeah. And one more breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands down now. Good. And then slide your foot back onto the ball of your foot. Good. And then you can either have your hands on your chair or your hips. And on an inhale breath, bring that leg back forward. Good. And shake it out. All right. <clears throat> and then we're going to move into our warrior on the other side, our warrior one. Good. So we're going to now take that left foot and step it back. Drop the heel down. And again, if you're on a tight rope, it might feel a little wobbly. You can widen your stance here. Soften this right knee. Good. And then just adjust yourself so you're not feeling any pressure, especially on that back knee. Yes. Good. And then bringing your hands to your hips and squaring your hips to the front of the room. Yeah, good. And then reaching the left arm up and reaching the right arm up. Good. Lift the heart, lead with the heart. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders back and down. Good. And take a nice big breath in. You can always hold on to the chair with your that right hand if this is feeling like too much. Yeah, because we want to be peaceful warriors, right? We don't want to be struggling. Good. One more breath here. And on your next exhale breath, bring your hands either to your chair or your hips. Good. And then leaning forward slightly. And on an inhale breath, slowly bring that back foot forward and relax. Okay. So <clears throat> next we're going to do, we're going to start in our warrior one and we're going to just blossom open into our warrior two pose. All right. So same thing here. We're going to step the right foot back, drop the heel. Good. Square your hips to the front of the room. Again, make sure there's no pressure on that back knee. Good. And then if it's available to you, reach your right arm up and reach your left arm up. Good. And take a nice big breath in and then exhale it out. Good. Another breath in. And now on an exhale breath, start to turn your body over to the right. Drop your arms halfway. You can always hold on to the chair with that left hand. Good. Now what we want to do is probably readjust your legs just a little bit so that the back foot, middle of the back foot is in line with that front heel. So take some time to do that. Settle into your warrior one. I mean two. Yeah. And then when you have that, slowly turn your head and look forward to that middle finger, that left middle finger. Good. And take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, feel your shoulders relax. Feel your arms relax. Tuck your tailbone forward and find a few breaths here in this beautiful warrior two pose. Now on an exhale breath, relax your right arm down. Flip the left palm up, that front palm up. And let's find our peaceful warrior. So just reach that left arm up towards the sky. Keep the left knee bent. Yeah. You can bend your elbow and maybe even bring your hand onto your head, that left hand. Find your peaceful warrior. Your elbows gently reaching up towards the sky. Opening up again that whole right lung. Lifting the heart. Finding your breath. And then inhale slowly, float that left hand back up. And then come back to your warrior two arms. Float that right arm up. And good. 
And now on a take a breath in and on an exhale breath, we're going to slowly just uh, bring that back foot onto the ball of our foot and find ourselves in a lunge, holding onto your chair here. Yeah, good. Or you can bring your hands onto your thighs. I mean, hips. <laughs> yeah, good. And then lean forward and on an inhale breath, slowly bring that foot back forward. So all these are balancing poses, right? Just take it slow. Yes, do what you can. If anything's uncomfortable, don't do it. Now we're gonna go into that little dance on the other side now. Good, so we're gonna take this <clears throat> right leg, that left leg now, and send it back. Find your warrior one on this side. So just dance around a little bit, wiggle around a little bit. Hands either on hips or on your chair. Good. And then on an inhale breath, reach that left arm up and reach the right arm up if it's available. Always you can hold on with one hand. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Relax your shoulders back and down. Another big breath in. Now this time as you exhale, start to turn to the left. Make sure that that right thigh reaches, continues to reach back. Drop your arms halfway. Good. And now you can readjust the feet a little bit. Readjust your stance so that that right heel is about in line with the middle of the back. Left foot. Good. And you can slowly turn your head and look over that front middle right finger, turning the head forward. And good. And breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breath. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders back and down. Two more breaths here. Up your tailbone forward. On your next exhale breath, just allow that left hand to drop to the left side and that front hand, palm turned up. And coming to our peaceful warrior. Inhale, reach that right arm up and bend the elbow. And you can even either stay there or bring your fingers onto your back of your head. And stretch open this nice right side here. Lifting the elbow, reaching the elbow up. That front knee, that right knee stays soft and bent. And breathe. Deep as you can into that right lung. And on an inhale breath, reach that right arm back up and let it float down halfway. Lift the left arm up, find your warrior two arms. Good. A nice big breath in. And as you exhale, you can release your hand onto your uh, chair here. And if you can just rotate your back foot onto the ball of your foot. Good. Bringing your, ourselves forward. So either hands on hips or chair. Good. And then on an inhale breath, lean forward and bring that back leg to meet the right. Nice work, everyone. So while we're doing these changing of asanas, the beauty of asana practice is that we it brings us into the present moment, which is where we are most happy. No matter what's happening in the present moment, whether it's great or if it's not so good, we're just there and we are dealing with it. And so it alleviates anxiety because anxiety is about worrying about what is going to happen, right? Stress is about what's happening now anxiety is in the future. So to alleviate anxiety, being in the present moment is the most lovely place to be. All right, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna come into a, I feel nice to do a little bit of a back bend, actually. So um, scooting your chair forward or stepping to the side of it, um, we're gonna come to a nice little uh, forward bend. Good, so softening your knees, Gonna clasp your hands behind your hips. Good. All right. And take a nice big breath in. Exhale it out. Good. And slide your hands closer to the floor. And then stretch your shoulders back. Maybe even lift your chin, lift your heart. And breathe here. 
two, one, good. And now take a nice big breath in, and as you exhale, start to send your hips back and just hinge at your hips. Again, coming forward to look at the floor. Good. You can feel free to drop your head down um, if you'd like, if that feels okay, the pressure on your face and head, or you can just stay looking at the floor. Good. Now opening up our lungs a little bit more here on an inhale breath, see if you can reach your arms up towards the sky. So floating them up off your back and breathe. Yes, enjoying this moment. on an exhale breath, relax your arms back onto your back. Start to stretch your hands towards the floor and slowly one vertebrae at a time. Just let the body start to float back up. Yeah. And head's the last thing to come up. Stretch your shoulders back. Good. And release the hands and shake it out. All right. Then we're going to come to a little our tree pose. So coming to the right side of your chair here. So just that you have something to hold on to. It can be a table. It can be a wall. Yeah, to start with. Good. And finding our balance. Again, you know, this time of year, new moon, just always looking for balance. Left, right, balance. And that's where we're most effective, where we're most happy. Yes, is when we are in balance. Right, not too high, not too low, in balance. Find a nice tall spine, good. And then shift the weight into this leg, this left leg. Engage your kneecap on this left leg. So you feel the thigh engage and the glute engage. And bend the right knee, good. And just keep a nice tall spine. I like to keep my hand on my hip. Helps me to keep the spine tall. Lift the gaze, look straight ahead. You can try to find something to stare at here. Yes. Just bring your awareness to the toes and the left foot. So just gently press your toes and that's gonna give you some stability. Good. And now if you can, take that right leg and bring the knee up to the side. And then bring either the bottom of the foot to the inside of your ankle. If you want more of a challenge for yourself, you can bring the bottom of the foot to the inside of the shin, inside of your shin. Yes. Um, even up into your thigh. You decide. Good. And Or you can just keep the knee forward if that's more comfortable. So find your balance. Either way, this is a really almost a full balance. It's almost 95% of the weight is in this standing leg. Yeah. Good. Now, if you're feeling stable, bringing your hands slowly into Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Keep your nice tall spine. Yes, good. And then on an inhale breath, if it's available to you, reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Even a little B. And find your breath. Now there's gonna be a little bit of a wobble, that's good. That means the brain is connecting to the body. Yes, holding you up, keeping you stable. If you ever topple out, just easily make your way back. Yeah. And then two more breaths here. On an exhale breath, slowly come out the same way you came in. Bring your palms together. Float your hands to your heart. Yes. Release the hand onto the chair if you'd like. And then bringing your knee forward and releasing both feet onto the floor. <clears throat> nice work, everyone. Yes. Always good to practice that. Then helps us to balance. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. All right. So first, finding our nice tall spine, and then weight into this inside leg, bending the left knee. Now, good. All right, and again, engaging that kneecap on the right, 
So you feel your thigh engage and your glute engage. That's gonna hold you up, yeah. And now if it's available to you, knee out to the side, whatever you did on that on the other side, see if you can emulate that on this side. Yeah, good, so here, 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 butt, thigh, nice tall spine, nice lifted heart, good. Now, if it's available to you, slowly bring your hands into prayer position. Good. And if you want to take it further, reach your fingertips slowly up towards the sky. Staring at that spot, Drishti gaze, to help you stay balanced. Smile on the face and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths here. Enjoying the wobble. Yes, telling yourself, I've got this, I've got it. Good. And when you're ready, coming out the way you came in, bring your palms together and slowly float your hands down to your heart. Good. Relax the arms down, maybe hold on to your chair. Bring your knee gently back forward and release your legs. Nice. All right. Really nice work, everybody. We're going to make our way back to our seats now. <clears throat> Again, sitting down, really engaging these thigh muscles to sit down nice and gracefully. So starting with sending your hips back, your toes are pressing in the floor, your thighs are reaching out, engaging those thighs, and then grabbing onto the chair. Find your seat. We're going to be sitting a little bit forward in our chair here now. Good. All right, we're going to bring our legs out a little bit wider. Good. So situate yourself. You can take the flesh from other, underneath your sit bones to keep, be nice and grounded on your chair with your hip bones. Good. Take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, lean the body forward. Reach the thighs out. Opening up our inner hips here. Good. Feel that stretch on the inside of your thighs. And then slowly come back up. Just coming over a little bit. We're going to do circles now with our upper body. So take a breath in. As you exhale, just come forward. And then over to one side. And then as you start to slide back, tuck your tummy in. I'm going over to the other side. So keep the spine tall, keep the head right above the shoulders. The head is not moving. It's the trunk of your body that is doing. So you feel the weight shift from one hip to the other, right? And you, your body comes back. You feel that belly tuck in, stabilizing your body, protecting your back. Next time you come Forward, pause. We're going to go the opposite direction. Good. Enjoying the stretch, enjoying the movement. Good. And the next time the body comes forward, pause. And again, let's bring our elbow now to one side and the other. And then just draw your thighs out to the side. Just opening up <clears throat> that those inner hips and keep breathing and smiling. And good. Then bringing one hand onto your thigh, the other hand onto your thigh, press into your feet and slowly bring your nice straight spine back up. Good. And then we're going to bring our toes in and our heels in and our toes in and our heels in. Good, and relax. All right, we're going to come into eagle pose now. So we're going to either take a, cross your legs or cross your, your um, ankles. So either crossing your right leg over your left, if that's comfortable on your body, and or crossing at your ankles. Yeah, so your ankles, you're crossed here. And if you're pretty well open, you can even take that right foot and tuck it behind the left ankle. 
that's too challenging. That's a little bit much for me. Yeah, good. All right, nice tall spine. We're gonna start with bringing our arms into like little 90 degree angles in front of us. Good. And we're gonna take this right, the right um, elbow and drop it down slightly. We're gonna take the left elbow, cross it into the right elbow if you can, yeah. And then bring the backs of your hands together. Maybe you can even bring that right hand into the left palm, yeah. Or if that, any of that is too much, you can just grab onto your shoulders, good. If your arms are up here, just slowly draw them away from your face and feel that opening in the upper thoracic spine. You're gonna take a nice breath in Exhale it out. Another big breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead and drop your upper arms onto your chest. Drop your head forward. And just bow the body a little forward. Coming into our sleeping eagle. And let's squeeze our lymphatic system. So take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, squeeze your arms gently together. Squeeze your legs together. Lift the pelvic floor muscles up off your chair. Yeah, and squeeze your everything. Yes, just squeeze like you're a dish rag and you're just wringing out all the stagnant fluid in your body. Two more breaths here. And then on an exhale breath, relax slowly start to lift the elbows up towards the sky and as they come a little higher the arms start to separate yeah and just slowly blossom yourself open your arms again nice and gracefully this practice can be so graceful and float the arms down okay. nice and relax the shoulders and then uncross. Nice, good. Any kind of shaky or wiggly to get out rid of any tension. And good. And then other side. So either crossing at ankles here, crossing at your legs. Maybe you take this left leg foot and tuck it behind the right, if that's in your practice. Yes, good. And again, we're gonna start with our little 90 degree angles here. So we're gonna drop the left elbow and we're gonna bring the right elbow inside the left if you can and bring your palms, fingers and palms together if that's available to or just the backs of your hands or you're also here as an option. Good. If you're up here, you're gonna start to slide your arms away from your face Feeling that stretch in your shoulders, upper thoracic spine. This is even helpful for the back of our lungs. Yeah, good. And now take a breath in. And as you exhale, relax your upper arms onto your chest. Just let your head drop forward. Relax the body forward. You can close your eyes here. And take another big breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze your arms together, squeeze your legs together. Lift again those pelvic floor muscles up off the chair. Squeeze everything, your toes, your nose, your ears, your thighs. Yeah, just squeeze and breathe. Don't stop breathing. And two, one. And then as you exhale, relax the body. So pressing down into that standing foot, slowly bring the arms back, back up, gaze back up, good, and then slowly uncross the arms, good, and then just allow the arms to float down, and roll it out, roll out the shoulders, relax those shoulders, good, and then uncross the legs here. Good. Ah, take a nice big breath in. Exhale, relax the body. The body relax. We're squeezing out a lot of toxins, a lot of fluids in the body. So 
lots and lots of water today. Relax the arms down, draw the arms back. You can grab onto the back of your chair here. Take a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, just allow the body to fall forward. Good. And relax. Keep that head, just let it land wherever it feels comfortable. <clears throat> and breathe. Inhale, breath when you're ready. Slowly start to lift the head back up. Yes. And release the hands off the chair. Good. And we're gonna scoot back to our chair now. Do a little stretch for our throat and our, our thymus gland. Yeah. So we're just gonna lift, we're gonna take our fingertips underneath our chin. We're gonna lift our chin. We're gonna take your jaw and Draw it forward like you're pouting. And then you're going to take your fingertips and just ride them down your throat to your collarbone. And then release and take your fingertips underneath your chin again. And just glide your fingers down your throat into your collarbone. And just gently press down into your collarbone. And one more time, take your fingertips to underneath your chin and glide them down your throat, your collarbone. Reach your chin up a little higher. And then release and relax the head forward. Relax your hands down onto your lap. Good. Let's take our fingers now and just, as if you have bangs, close your eyes and just Start to brush your fingertips along your forehead. It's beginning to relax. And during this time of energy, universal energy, relax. Release your hands onto your thighs. Take your right pointer finger and touch between your eyebrows. And just do little circles. Press and do little circles on your third eye. Awakening our intuition in one direction and then circle other direction. Good. And then release your hand onto your thigh and take a little time to prepare yourself now for Shavasana. So if you want to lay down and cover up, you can I'm going to remain in your chair. Just make sure that your back is supported by the back of your chair. Again, it's now getting very chilly here, so make sure that you're warm enough. And then if it's not already, close your eyes. Take a nice big breath in as if you're breathing in through your third eye. And breathe out through your third eye. And again, breathe in through the third eye. And breathe out, third eye. Release your breath. Relax your breath now. Make any final little adjustments to get completely comfortable. And become still. Coming into final relaxation, Shavasana. All bodies relaxing now. shoulders soften. Bring a little smile to your face. Feel your heart surrender. Your arms and hands heavy. Feel 
feel your belly soft and your hips heavy. any thoughts and just allow them to float by like clouds. Let go of all of your efforts. Just for one minute, sit in stillness, allowing the body to just be. Your mind becomes busy. Just bring your awareness to your breath. As it goes into your nostrils and out so easily. And let go. Feel free to remain here, sitting in this stillness. And should you choose to slowly come back, gently become aware of your body. Gently become aware of your surroundings and sounds around you. And begin to wiggle toes, fingers, just gently coming back. Bringing your hands into prayer position now, resting your thumbs onto your heart. Take a nice big deep breath in, fill your heart. And as you exhale, bow your forehead to your fingertips. Relax your shoulders. We'll close practice today with this. When there is surrender in the heart, 
nothing evil can touch you. When you're feeling ready and complete at your own pace, and gently begin to slowly flutter the eyes open, letting the light in nice and slowly as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and taking care of yourself. Enjoy this new moon solar eclipse energy in the next couple of days. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.